A local cancer survivor who had a first-of-its-kind hip surgery is inches closer to being able to put both feet on the ground. You might remember in July when we told you about Trent Brock's left leg being four inches shorter than his right. Well, tonight in a Fox 24 special report, we have an update for you on how he's doing since an intensive two-day surgery at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Trent tells me he's been in a lot of pain since his procedures. He's getting by, though, knowing that pain is only temporary and that his story can serve as an inspiration, not only because of his resilience in the face of adversity, but also for the medical breakthrough that's given him a new lease on life. A mix of emotions. I'm excited to know, but, you know, also a little bit, what are my feelings going to be if... It's not what I expect. As Trent Brock crutches in for his first post-op appointment. Every day uh, you get a little better, um, but it's sore. I've been, re you know, I'm really sore. I've got about a 20 inch incision down the middle of my back and also one down the side of my leg and, you know, halfway around. In mid-July, he had a two day, first of its kind hip implant surgery at the Mayo Clinic. Multiple earlier procedures to remove his hip bone cancer and then a massive infection left him without almost the entire left side of his pelvis. All right, so this is his spine. That's one half. Of Trent's Northwest Arkansas orthopedic surgeon gave him his first look at the new implant as he awaits a follow up in mid October with his doctors at Mayo. So he's got part of his pelvis, just the bottom half and the front hooked on. And then your sacrum in the back, the small of your back is still there, but they made him a half of a fake pelvis and put a socket on it so he can get this total hip put in so that he can walk on it. Then, to increase the stability, they bolted it to his spine. Going into the surgery, Trent's left leg had inched up into his pelvis, causing a major difference in length between his legs. Now? Do you, do you remember how, I mean, it was four inches. That's like three inches back. And I think... That's about the most you're going to get. On the outside, he's happy with the progress. On the inside? So everything looks secure? Everything's secure. Any concerns that you see with this x-ray or anything? No, th this x-ray looks beautiful right now. Okay, perfect. Nearly two months later, Trent's feeling thankful, grateful, and he says even a little cocky. You know, I mean, you, you got to have a little bit of that when you're staring in the eyes of the doctor telling you, you're never going to walk again. You're not going to live through this. The guys at Mayo, uh, I mean, for me, they are the closest to God's hands we're going to get on earth. He has been in a lot of pain, though, after undergoing the surgeries back to back for a combined 18 hours. Think about your, your leg being cut off and then, and then sewed back on, the natural weight of that pulling on your leg all day and there's nothing you can do about it. And then, you, you know, you multiply that with it being infected, which makes it, you know, two or three times as worse. In addition to the pain, Trent says he's dealing with what he calls implant symptoms, fever, fatigue, and chills, as the new addition to his pelvis quickly takes shape. The implant that they put in, it, my pelvis is actually growing. The, the bone, what they call is the bone margin, is growing into the actual implant. It's a slow recovery process, and while he's getting restless, he is taking things in stride. I'm just really counting down the days when I can really get back in the gym, because um, this little leg is kind of shriveled up to look pretty much like a toothpick now. By the end of the year, Trent hopes to be cleared to put weight on both legs. We're just being really careful right now, because, um, you know, once they give me the go, I'm going to go hard. Until then, he's inching closer to being able to walk away from the problems of past surgeries. But the goal is that we will be off crutches in a year. Forging a path forward for future patients. For somebody that has this in the future, I can help them. As you just saw, Trent's left leg is still about an inch shorter than his right. Originally, the plan was for him to have a leg lengthening procedure once he's all healed up from that hip implant. But because he was able to get so much length from the initial surgeries, he hasn't decided yet if he will go through with that. By the way, you're going to be able to read Trent's story in his own words soon as he's in the process of writing a book. For now, we want you to check out a previous story we did with him about his cancer battle over on Fox24news.tv. Chelsea Helms, Fox24news.